Next time you're feeling guilty about procrastinating, remember that you're not alone and there is scientific evidence that shows that as a species, we tend to be lazy, especially when we think that nobody's watching us. And this notion was first proposed and investigated by a French agricultural engineer, Max Ringelmann, uh, who wanted to explore uh, agricultural efficiency and specifically who wanted to explore the factors that may play a role in work performance of draft animals, such as horses and ox. And his suspicion was that as the members, the number of uh, group members increases, the individual effort may decrease. And to explore that, he employed uh, the total of 20 students who were asked to pull on a rope at uh, different points in time, so both individually and as a group. And sure enough, it quickly became evident that the more group members, the less effort individual group members put into that, uh, that action of pulling. For example, when two people pulled on the rope, they only produced 93% of the effort they previously expanded when on their own. With three people, this figure dropped to 83% and with four people to 77%. From there, the figure only continued to spiral downwards with a group of eight people, for example, showing only 50% of their maximum capacity. These days, uh, this tendency for individual productivity to decrease as group size increases uh, is referred to as the Ringelmann effect or social loafing. And this concept has been applied in many other contexts and used to explain many other uh, phenomena and human behaviors, uh, such as, for example, not filling in uh, surveys because of the belief that uh, your voice will not really matter among all the other people, all the other respondents, or uh, not speaking up against social injustice because, again, because of the belief that uh, my voice will simply not matter. And this also uh, shows us that uh, apart from simply being lazy, so of course I simplified uh, this phenomenon and this notion when I started this video, apart from being lazy, there are lots of other factors at play and modern research has explored uh, this variety of other factors. Although Ringelmann uh, himself, he really refused to give up on humanity and, and faith in humanity. So, uh, so after the original results, uh, he proposed uh, two hypotheses. So he said that one of the reasons uh, why this may be happening, so the situation with pulling on the rope, is that people simply have uh, problems with coordination. So the more uh, group members, the more difficult it is to coordinate these efforts. It's not about laziness, it's just difficult to coordinate the work of more people. And only the other hypothesis said that perhaps it is a conscious uh, decision to put in a little bit less effort. Unfortunately for him, or to his disappointment, uh, further experiments, follow-up experiments, did not support the idea that the coordination uh, problems are the main, uh, the main factor. More recent research that explored this notion, however, has concluded that coordination does play a role. Uh, in addition, of course, to this low motivation we discussed, coordination does play a role, especially with bigger groups. So basically, the bigger the group, the bigger the impact of these problems with uh, coordination becomes. Also, these studies that have mainly been conducted as research into group productivity uh, determined a whole range of other factors that are at play. So uh, again, we do tend to reduce uh, this effort willingly, not because of coordination issues, uh, but they attempted to explain why. So there is a whole range of factors, for example, our beliefs about how identifiable our efforts are. So whether people actually know or not know, uh, how much effort we put into this, or uh, group cohesiveness, so how cohesive uh, the whole group is. And research into these topics uh, continues to uh, to be popular, to draw attention, like I said, especially in the field of group productivity. Uh, companies and businesses, of course, want to understand group performance, team performance, and in one of the recent studies, for example, it has been shown that in the US, in fact, uh, uh, the, the bigger the group, the bigger the, the company, the less uh, individual effort individual members put into their work performance. So as you can imagine, this is uh, extremely important. Uh, this kind of research is extremely important in some industries and fields.